The redeemed shall walk there, and the ransom of the Lord shall return, and come to Zion with songs and everlasting joy upon their heads. And they shall obtain joy and gladness, and sorrow and sighing shall flee away. In Matthew chapter 7, verse 13, Matthew chapter 7, Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And many there be which go in thereat. Verse 14. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth into life, and few there be that find it. In Luke chapter 13, verse 24. Luke 13, verse 24. Strive to enter in at the street gate. For many, I say unto you, we seek to enter in and shall not be able. Praise the Lord. Acts chapter 14, verse 22. Confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith. And that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of God. Brethren and my fellow youths, I welcome you to today's topic titled The Road to Heaven. The Road to Heaven. For you to start a journey. You must know that the road you must know the road that leads to it. Because failing to know the road will cause you harm. Am I right? Praise the Lord. I said, if you fail to know a road to a particular destination, what is going to happen is that the person will end up, you know, going from one place to another. And, you know, it will end up in just drawing up and down. Praise Master Jesus. But in our contemporary society, you can find such a dilemma in the life of so many youths. So many of them embark on life journey without foreknowledge of where it will lead them to. Praise Master Jesus. So many of them in fact, a lot of youths has followed a wrong path that leads to destruction and they call it a way of life without consideration, considering the consequences of such decision. Praise Master Jesus. If you look at Matthew chapter 7 verse 13, Matthew chapter 7. It says, Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many be there that go in thereat. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way, which leadeth unto life, and few there be, be that find it. Praise Master Jesus. You can find out that in this scripture, the Bible described to us two ways. He talked about the broad way and he talked about what? The narrow way. Praise Master Jesus. And in fact, he made us understand the consequences of following these ways. If you look at the book of Proverbs chapter 14 verse 12. Proverbs chapter 14.
And he says, There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Chosen, praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. So you can see, here the Bible is telling us about the consequence of what? The broad way. Am I right? And what did he say? At the end of that way is what? Death. But I want you to know, my dear, my dear brethren, in fact, I prefer to call us my fellow youths. God's way is not your way. And your way cannot be his way. Am I right? Because he has made us understand his ways are not what? The ways of what? Of man. He has made a road to heaven which cannot accommodate obnoxious lifestyle. That is, any kind of lifestyle. Any way, any kind of lifestyle. The road to heaven is the way of righteousness. If you look at Matthew chapter 10 verse 33, Matthew chapter 10. But, but whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father, which is in heaven. In verse 38, And he that taketh not his cross and followeth after me is not worthy of me. And he that findeth his life shall lose it. And he that loseth his life for my sake shall find it. And he that receiveth you receiveth me. And he that receiveth me, receiveth him that sent me. In John chapter 14, verse 6. John chapter 14. And Jesus said unto them, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father, but by me. Praise Master Jesus. So, from that scripture... We can see that Jesus Christ is the way. And because he is the way, anyone that must walk on the road to heaven must be in Christ. Because Jesus Christ is the embodiment of righteousness. Jesus Christ is the embodiment of peace. Jesus Christ is the embodiment of love. Praise Master Jesus. So we're going to look at this message in two subheadings. Point one, the road to heaven is plain and reasons. The road to heaven is plain and reasons. Our response, our response and the benefit. So look at point one. The road to heaven is plain and reasons. Brethren, we must know that the road to heaven is not the road to your school. It's not the road to your office. It's not the road to your village. What you are saying literally here, what you are saying here, is that the road to heaven is the road, is the road to the kingdom of God. Praise the Lord. The road to heaven is what? The road to the kingdom of God. A place where God dwells, a place where God lives. And a carefree youth cannot enter there. Praise Master Jesus. A youth who is not mindful of holiness and righteousness. A youth who is not, you know, particularly concerned about heaven, about God, about righteousness. I want to let you know, cannot enter there. Because that place, as the Bible describes it, it says that that place is what? A holy place. If the Bible made us understand, it says that, that there shall be no sun, there shall be no moon, but the glory of the Lord will shine day and night. 
praise Master Jesus. So for anyone to enter that place, it requires a holy lifestyle to make it there because it is not made for the unprepared soul. Praise Master Jesus. And so what that means is that heaven is a prepared place. It's not made for a careless soul. But for those who are qualified and possess the qualities it takes to be there. Because the Bible says, straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leads to life. And few there be that find it. Praise Master Jesus. So you can see that it is a place that is, in fact, from the description of the Bible, he has, the, he has made us understand that it's only few, only few. But my prayer today, after this message, is that every one of us shall be among the few. Can I hear you say amen? amen. I say we shall be among the few. Do you believe it? If you believe it, can I hear you shout a louder amen? amen? Because despite our pursuits and whatever we want to achieve, I want to let you know that making heaven is the utmost, utmost goal. In fact, it is the priority that supersedes all other priorities. At the end of this life, you do what? You make heaven at last. So, every youth who desires to be in heaven, every youth desires to be in heaven. But unfortunately, not everyone will be there because it is a place of righteousness and holiness. It is only made for the saints and the redeemed people who have been washed in the blood of the Lamb and have the testimony of Christ. Praise Master Jesus. My dear brethren, if you ask anybody around, or if you go out there and ask anybody, and tell them, do you want to enter heaven? The person will tell you he wants to enter heaven. Praise Master Jesus. Even though you ask somebody who is a sinner, he will tell you he wants to go to heaven. So you can see that everybody desires to go there. But it is only the choosing. If you look at the book of Isaiah chapter 35 verse 8. Isaiah chapter 35. The Lord has chosen. It says only the choosing ones. Isaiah chapter 35. I read verse 8. And it says, And a highway shall be there, and a way and it shall be called the way of holiness. The unclean shall not pass over it, but it shall be for those, the wayfaring men. Though fools shall not enter, shall not err therein. Verse 9. No lion shall be there, nor any ravenous beast shall go up thereon. It shall not be found there, but the redeemed shall walk there, and the ransom of the Lord shall return, and come to Zion with songs and everlasting joy upon their heads. And they shall obtain joy and gladness, and sorrow and sighing shall flee away. Praise the Lord. So you can see that that way has been, you know, made for the choosing ones. Praise Master Jesus. And the Bible referred to them, those that are redeemed, those that are washed with the blood of the Lamb. Praise Master Jesus. And so as a result, no sinner will be there. The fornicator will not be there. The smokers will not be there. 
those that are into robbery, those that are into fighting, the cultists, those that are into cultism, those that are, that are into lying, those that are into drunkards, those that are into, into drinking. I want, I want to let you know, my brethren, those people will not enter there because the Bible made us understand that that way is for the who? The choosing ones. Praise Master Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. So, that way is not for any kind of, any, it's not for carefree attitude. It's not for those that are careless with their Christianity. It's not for those that isolate Jesus Christ. Because from what we have read, we have seen that Jesus Christ is what? Is the way, the truth, and the word, life. Praise Master Jesus. And so, all unrighteous people will not inherit God's kingdom, except they repent and turn away from their evil ways and surrender their entire life to Christ and go ahead to maintain purity, righteousness, and holiness and live a consecrated lifestyle unto God. Can I hear the church say amen? amen. If you look at Genesis chapter 17 verse 1, Genesis chapter 17. And when Abraham was 99 years old and nine, the Lord appeared to Abraham and said unto him, I am the almighty God. Walk before me and be thou perfect. Praise Master Jesus. So you can see that God was, you can see that God was demanding from Abraham what? God was demanding from him to walk in what? In holiness and what? Righteousness. And, he, and, and God has not changed because from generation to generation God has continued to demand that his people walk in the way of what? Holiness and what? Righteousness. If you look at the book of John chapter 20, 12 verse 25. John chapter 12 verse 25. I read from verse 25. He that loveth his life shall lose it. And he that hateth his life in this world shall keep it unto life eternal. If any man serve me, let him follow me. And where I am, there shall also my servant be. If any man serve me, him will the Father honor. Praise Master Jesus. In Isaiah chapter 35, verse 8. Isaiah chapter 35, verse 8. I read from verse 8. And a highway shall be there, and a way, and it shall be called the way of holiness. The unclean shall not pass over it, but it shall be for those, the wayfaring men, though fools shall not enter, shall not err therein, nor lion shall be there, nor any ravenous beast shall go up thereon. It shall not be found there. But the redeemed shall walk there, and the ransom of the Lord shall return, and come to Zion with songs, and everlasting joy upon their heads, and they shall obtain joy and gladness, and sorrow and sign shall flee away. Praise Master Jesus. I want you to know, even from that scripture, that if you follow this way that is the Lord is saying that the way this way of holiness and righteousness one of the consequences is that such person will be will live a joyful Christian life praise master Jesus and so 
we all must ensure that we follow this way. Praise Master Jesus. So this takes me to my second point and a final point. Our response expected and the benefit. Choosing praise Master Jesus. So having seen the road to heaven that it is a way of purity and righteousness and that it is evident that only those that only those that are saved from their sins will be there. Praise Master Jesus. Because the Bible made us understand, it says, the lion shall not enter there. The ravenous beast shall not enter there. So, it is not for anyone. It is for those who are saved. It is for those who have their names written in the Lamb's book of life are the ones that will make heaven. Praise Master Jesus. So all we have to do now is to surrender our life to Jesus Christ totally and forsake our old lifestyle. Praise Master Jesus. I am sure that each and every one of us will bear me witness of one of the testifiers that testified today. The brother that God delivered from cultism. If you look at him, you can see that there is changes in him. Praise Master Jesus. You can see that he is now a new, in fact, the new. And now you can now see that, that he is now saying that he is going about preaching the word of God. Choose him, praise Master Jesus. You can see that God delivered him from so many things. And today he is now an instrument. Pre of, you know, an instrument in the hand of God. And now converting souls into the kingdom of God. So, there is no need to waste time. It is a personal decision. It is for you to decide. Because the gift of salvation is greater than, you know, having the best job in the world. The gift of salvation is greater than having, you know, all the things of this world. Because the Bible says, what shall it profit a man if he gains the world and do what? Lose his soul. Praise Master Jesus. The gift of salvation is a gift... Praise Master Jesus. And that is why the Lord God has commissioned the Lord Chosen Church with three visions and mandates. And he said in the first vision, he says, grassroots revival, what? All over the world. Praise Master Jesus. That is, you know, going about causing revival, winning souls to his kingdom. And so my dear brothers and sisters, you cannot compare that because God is still in the business of soul winning. And God is interested in you. God is interested in your soul, where your soul will be at the end of this life. And the Lord is calling us today to decide. Because tomorrow might be too late. Praise Master Jesus. We must today ignore any external influence from friends, from those seated around us. Because our coming here today is for us to achieve a particular thing. Praise Master Jesus. And we must not be distracted. Because if you are distracted, you will lose whatever God has prepared for you today. But I pray that it shall not be your portion in Jesus' name. So, we must avoid distraction. If you look at Second um, Corinthians chapter six, verse two, Second Corinthians chapter six, verse two, he said, "For he said, I have had thee 
in the time accepted. And in the day of salvation, I have succored thee. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. Praise Master Jesus. So, don't say, I would, you know, wait till when I'm old. Don't say, until when I'm married, until when I've gone to school, until when I've gotten this and getting, I can, you know, have that and have that. I want to let you know, my friends, that those things are not more important than your soul. And so the Lord is demanding that we decide now. For he has called, he has said to us, that now is what? The acceptable time. Praise Master Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. What, did, what has he said? He said, now is what? The acceptable time. And so, my friends, let us all strive to enter. As it says in Luke chapter 13, verse 24. Because it is a fight you have to fight now. Praise Master Jesus. Even in this program, God is waiting for you to repent from your sins. I, if you look at Isaiah chapter 1, verse 18. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 18. Isaiah. I read verse 18. He said, Come now and let us reason together, saith the Lord. Do your sins be as scarlet? They shall be white like crimson. They shall be as wool. If you be willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. Praise Master Jesus. So the Lord is asking us. There is no time to wait because, in fact, there is no more time. The Lord is asking us to decide now. Praise Master Jesus. Verse 28, it says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Praise Master Jesus. This is the Master calling us. This is the master speaking to us that don't take the world because the world is bothersome. The world, in fact, attracts fear, danger, copying the world and behaving like the world and speaking like the world and dressing like the world. We only attract the devil to that person. And the devil doesn't give anything good. He will only give the person sorrow. He will only give the person problems. He will only give the person affliction. And that is why the master is speaking to each and every one, each and every one of us. He said, take of me, for my burden is what? It's light. Praise Master Jesus. My burden is light. Because if you have Christ, I want to let you know you have peace. Am I right? If you have Christ, you have joy. If you have Christ, in fact, you will, you will see the glory of God radiating in that person's life. And the person will be bold. The person will, in fact, can move to anywhere and declare the word of God without fear. That is why the master is saying to us, Come. Because my, my yoke is what? My yoke is easy. And my burden is what? Light. Choose and praise the Lord. 
She's in praise, Master Jesus. So, hearing is an invitation from the, from the Master to each and every one of us to come. And as we come today, by ensuring that we, you know, turn to Him and be focused throughout the duration of this program, I want to assure each and every one of us that the Lord will bless us mightily in Jesus' name. Remember the team, the road to heaven. Sorry, the topic. The road to what? Heaven. Praise Master Jesus. Furthermore, for those who have been saved from their sins already, we should endeavor to maintain purity and righteousness. Because the Bible says, without holiness, what happened? No eyes shall see the Lord. It is only by purity. It is only by holiness. Because that is the way of our Lord Jesus Christ. The way of Jesus is the way of holiness. It's the way of purity. And so each and every one of us must endeavor to maintain purity and righteousness. And as we do so, and, and as we do so, and not allow whatever you are passing through, be it trials, be it persecution, temptation, or the flashy things of this world, to make us to lose focus of the road to heaven. We shall be blessed in Jesus' name. So, let us all strive to enter and stand firm for Christ and be determined to make heaven at last. Praise Master Jesus. I want us to bow our head now and ask God for the grace. Ask God to help you Ask the Lord this morning, Father, take over my soul. Help me to walk in this road. Jesus Christ, come into my heart. I want you to begin to call upon him now. Talk to him with all your heart. Our Father Lord, I present myself and each and every one of us here this, this morning. We ask, so God, that you give us the grace to walk in this road we pray, Lord Jesus, come into our hearts and guide us that at the end of this life, we shall be in heaven to part no more. I want you to talk to him. Call upon him with all your heart. Just as I am without one plea, but that thy blood was shed for me, and now thou bids me come to thee, O Lamb of God, I call. Just 